This is The Wealth Puzzle with Michael Mansfield from The Lynn Group. When a part of your financial strategy is out of tune, your long-term goals, your retirement savings, and your legacy can all suffer. With many years of experience in the financial industry, Michael provides his clients and prospects with the information they need regarding Social Security, retirement income planning, wealth management, and much more. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful solutions to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, here is The Wealth Puzzle with Michael Mansfield. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to The Wealth Puzzle. Thanks for listening or watching. Maybe you're on our podcast or on YouTube or Rumble, checking it out. Lucky enough, we've got Tana here and she is on location. This is so <laughs> exciting. So it's like, you know, it's like when you go to like uh, wherever there's a <laughs> current event happening. So Tana is on location uh, yes. in my office, in our small conference room, only 40 feet away from me. Right. I love it. We've been having we a great figure time. figure out how to do a like a... <laughs> I don't know. Like, I wonder if there's like a way we could have done this all on the same screen, but no, we, we locked her in the, in the dungeon over there. Right. You, you can tell she's been watching TV all morning. Yes. You got nothing to do with it. I Treasury love it. bill show debt limit concerns. <laughs> Look at that. You're getting all kinds of good stuff. If I turn my T if I turn my screen though, I got, I got the same yeah. thing running in my office over here. Right. To the right. Even just though I just pointed informed. to the left on the screen. The um, Tana, thank you for being here. Thank you for being thank in you. California. She wanted yeah, to see what great. it looked like before it imploded. So she came for <laughs> one last peek. The uh, No, but uh, I did go down to the beach yesterday and I went on a beautiful walk. I saw that storm rolling in. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was Lots wild. Of lightning, All the lightning, some thunder. It was beautiful. That was cool. There was one that yeah. like cracked right above our house. Yeah. And it was like, whoa. That was a, that was a, that was a hardy one. Very rare. Yes. Yeah, no. It's, well, ra rain is rare around here, yeah. so yeah. and any any weather is rare except. <laughs> Maybe fog. I brought a Texas storm with me. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. We appreciate that. So, um, any case, woohoo! Like I said, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hey, uh, yes. you know, just to kind of get to it, Medicare open enrollment is coming up, right? This is happening yes. in a matter of days at this point. Medicare is a big component of retirement mm -hmm. income planning. It is very impactful that you have health insurance, that you have proper Medicare plans. Mm -hmm health plans. Yeah, there's a government side to it, which is important. But the problem is, is if you just sign up for what the man tells you to do, you have some exposure, you have some problems. You know, if you right. get hit by a Mack truck, you might owe 20% of those bills. And I imagine Mack truck bills are pricey. I don't know, Tana, mm -hmm. you could probably speak to that better. So Tana helps all happens. of our clients. She is a massive resource mm -hmm. to Medicare plans. Yes. If I give some backstory on that, Tana's parents here locally in Ventura used to own the college pharmacy. Her mm -hmm. dad was a pharmacist. A, a, a legalized drug dealer we used to call him our kids <laughs> yeah go talk to tana's dad the um and so tana mm -hmm. worked there for many years managing all of the insurance mm -hmm. of medicare trying to deal with prescriptions deal with medical devices and all of that stuff so she has a wealth of knowledge with helping mm -hmm. you figure it all out so um without any further ado we're gonna <laughs> give it to tana so i'm gonna figure Thank out how to turn you. my video off and i'm just gonna yeah, so take a snooze. Talk about Medicare. <laughs> All right. Well, we have open enrollment. It's starting October 15th through December 7th. And this applies to anyone who is already enrolled in Medicare. So if you're someone that's about to enroll in Medicare or uh, turning 65 soon, or you're going to be retiring soon and want to switch over to Medicare, open enrollment is not for you. That will be <laughs> your own special <laughs> initial enrollment period. So don't fret or get worried that you have to get something done within October 15th through to de December 7th if you're new to Medicare. Now to stop you there for a second. Yeah. I feel like all this stuff is confusing because when you it watch is. the commercials on TV, it acts like yes. you're supposed to be doing something. Oh, Everyone has absolutely. this golden opportunity. You can absolutely. change whatever you want. Call right. us. No, um, there's rules. Oh, th that's Definitely. a bummer because the commercials imply that there's no rules. It's the uh, just the uh, health insurance free for all for seniors. Uh, no, no. The best thing to do during open enrollment is if you are already enrolled in Medicare, you can make a switch to your or for your prescription drug plan. Uh, you can also switch to a different Medicare Advantage mm. plan if you're already enrolled in one. Okay, or, so if I'm super healthy when I sign up, I suddenly become extremely sickly. Open enrollment, I can run out and get a get a better plan. 
during this time, correct. You can switch um, from one Medicare Advantage plan to another from a different company. Wow. Or you can, ha if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you can switch out of it and go back to original Medicare. Ooh. And that's yeah, so. no matter if I have any pre existing conditions or anything. Right. No, this on. is the time. So you don't have to go through medical underwriting. So this is super important. Now, if you have original Medicare, with like a plan G or a plan F and you mm -hmm. want to try out a Medicare um, Advantage plan, then that also can happen during this time frame. Um, but if you have a plan G or a plan F, you have a Medicare supplement, um, you cannot switch to another Medicare supplement um, during this open enrollment period. You actually need to use your California, well, it's called the California birthday rule. So you have to use the mm. month of your birthday and it lasts for 60 days. So there's a nice 60 day window to make a switch during the month of your birthday. If you are already enrolled in a Medicare supplement like plan F or plan G, plan N. So people get that confused too. They want to switch just to a different company because they hear right. that they have some additional benefits, but that's not the time to use um, or make that switch. You'd have to actually go through medical underwriting and answer some questions about your health. Is there a reason somebody would switch from like a plan G to another plan G? Like, or are they all the oh, same absolutely. With the insurance companies? What? No, that's a great question. So, so yes, they are standardized plans. So plan G with Anthem and plan G with AARP United Healthcare or Blue mm -hmm. Shield of California, they're standardized. So they all at least have to offer the same level of benefits, but to compete for your business, they do throw in some extras. So there is an opportunity to kind of, you know, shop around, price things out, see if something's important to you, like basic vision or hearing and, or, um, if you don't want all the frills, cause you don't feel like they're beneficial, then you just go with a basic plan G and save a little money every month on your premiums. So it's, it's a good thing to shop around. I heard the, the best one was the F. Yes. So that's the most comprehensive plan because it does. The Cadillac. Cover the, yes. To call it, it. it covers the Medicare Part B annual deductible. Oh. But if you are born after on or after January 1st, 1955, uh, you are not eligible to enroll in plan F. But if you already have it, you get to keep it and they can't wow. take it away from you. But the next best, most comprehensive um plan, uh, Medicare or Medigap plan is the plan G. So great plan, just as great as plan F. Um, but it, but you do have to uh, pay the $203 annual deductible first, and then it looks like a plan F every, you know, every Medicare uh, covered benefit. Did you say 200 bucks um, a year was the deductible? Yes. About a little over. Man, compare that's that to very, some Obamacare right? deductibles, man. That's right? not even a deductible. That's not even worth getting out of bed for. I agree. Like, and Louise. that is a variable, though. I'm, I'm jealous. So I can't they... wait till I'm 65. I got like five more years. I'll be <laughs> yeah. there. No, you have a ways to go. But it does, <laughs> it will just plan on that increasing, though, over time. So the okay. $203 annual deductible will increase, and so will your Medicare supplement monthly premiums because they're based on age and zip code. So keep that in mind as well. But I did notice that Medicare.gov, the website has been um, improving and they've been making a lot of updates and changes. And so I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention on how to use it because it's a great resource. So if you go to Medicare.gov and on the first page, it says open enrollment starts October 15th. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you can use this website if you're just new to Medicare and you want to learn more about Medicare. Um, but you can start out by clicking here. So you just got to scroll down just slightly, get started, click on that. And it goes into explaining the different parts of Medicare. So uh, nobody needs that, though. They have you. Well, yeah, you do. It. You have me. You can you, always give me a call. Do you take them here and read these things to them? Is that? No, I don't. I don't. Here. But I'm just saying this is a great tool because some people <laughs> like this. They like to do the homework yeah. and other people are like, Tana, just get me enrolled. I need your sure. help. I don't want to think about it. So I just wanted to show you that there is a nice resource on explaining how Medicare works and how to enroll in Medicare. But again, 
I'm here for you. If you want me to help you enroll, I'll get it done. Um, but going back to the home page, I also wanted to show you that you can um, do a prescription drug plan quote uh, for the upcoming 2022 plans. So you just want to make sure you had the list of your medications right in front of you. And this is a great resource. You can create an account and do this, or you can just go through it without having to set up an account. That's where you go here. Continue without logging in. Super simple. I do want to bring to your attention. This shows you that you're viewing the 2022 plans. Oh. If you click here, it will switch over to the current 2021 plans. Okay, so, so let me stop sure. you there. I'm yeah. stopping you right there. So okay. I'm a consumer. I'm looking at this website. You're showing yes. me a thing. I realize people listening on us on the podcast, you're at a disadvantage Hard today for them in the to show see what I'm talking about. because Correct. it's visually <laughs> exciting to look at this website. But the very first question, what type are you looking for? You got Medicare Advantage, drug plan, yes. drug plan, Medicare. Blah, blah, blah. Like, so like for the normal person, I'm already confused. Okay. Right. You so, know what I mean? Like, like no, how is any absolutely. normal person supposed to have any clue what they're looking for here? <laughs> this is like, what? Like, uh, I know there should be little bubbles right here with question marks. So you could click on it. So it can explain. Not even that. The yeah, they made you pay plan. into this program your whole life, people. <laughs> All of your payroll taxes right? this your whole life. And where's the red carpet? It's true. Where's I, the I red agree. carpet? Well, I, you know? I, I unroll the red carpet for people. I, what that's You're what the I red do carpet. for people. Yes, you know, just I made so you know, it everybody, easier. I want, I want everyone to know Tana's getting rich on this. She makes no, about $2.75 this... no. on every policy she sells. True. No, this and... is not something. <laughs> this is really just me doing a service uh, to the community because so I the, enjoy the, helping The government people. has suckered Tana into being the red carpet. <laughs> Uh, no, I actually enjoy this. This is fun for me. And I would rather people just come in. I can help them out. We can complete uh, this over the phone. Get that way you're not sitting there fretting. You, so that way she can at least feed her kids when she's done. No, I'm fine. I'm excited to do this. This is a lot of fun. But what I wanted to show you, though, is this is a great tool because this would help if we had a conversation. If you could already come in here and do this then our conversation would be a little bit quicker. Otherwise, I can help you do this if this doesn't oh, make sense. Oh, so, so you're saying a prepared yeah. client yes, is definitely. a better client. Yeah, okay, I'm just trying to educate. That. So click on the or the drug plan All right. bubble, and then you got to click um, into this box. Put Why in zip, zip code, code. code why does it because, matter? Isn't that racist? Isn't it? Isn't this the no. problem with our country right here that if you live in the wrong zip code, you bad, and now the pricing is going to be off? No, 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 no. This is so. There's. I mean, what does that say slew. about your car insurance when they ask your zip code? Like, well, wait, you're saying my neighborhood ain't fancy enough for no, my Audi? No, there's like 35 prescription drug plans I'm just, just in Ventura County alone. So it is based on zip code because if you go into different areas, there might be more or even less. To choose yeah. from yeah so I, okay so i'm writing a letter to someone i don't know who <laughs> okay so next question do you get help with your cost from one of these programs well medicaid yeah. ssi exactly. social security okay if you're not know. sure just click i'm not sure so it's probably I like just, well, yeah. Social Security supplemental comes for, for individuals maybe that have health issues, like they're blind and stuff and or low income. Correct. Yeah. And a lot okay. of them are not even of the age of 65, which they can have uh, Medicare if they've been on disability oh, for more than 24 months, then you get automatically enrolled in Medicare. Oh. So if anybody has that situation, too, I can help you get your uh, plan enrollments done. Okay, so we're going to click. I'm guilty of watching the TV behind you at this point. I know. You're not even paying attention, but that's okay. That's, so the next question is, do you want to see your drug costs when you're – and, com, you know, compare the plans? Yes, we do. Like who, who would Definitely. say no to that? They don't want to know what it's going to cost? Well, if I'm running into this just to enroll you, I can bypass it because we've already discussed it. I so see. I go no so I can skip all this. This oh, is kind of the more tedious part of it. Oh, so you got to find so, the drugs. So exactly. Tana, go ahead and list all the prescription meds you're on. This is going to take some None time, everybody. At this time, I hope so I don't So she's taking to, something but... called atavorstostatin. No, but this is this is a very common drug. So I'm going to add that. What's and then for? I'm going to change. I think it's for the heart. Oh. And then I'm going to change the dosage. So I'm going to say 10 milligram. Okay. Um, one a day. 
and then add to my drug list. And then I'm going to add another one. So we're going to put... Um... Lithium? What's, you're on something. <laughs> what is this stuff? I am not on it anything. It always falls like out that. of your purse when you're here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then say, for instance, I take two of these a day. I change the quantity. Um, and I can also, if I want to see what it looks like when I get a 90-day supply, oh, I can change that okay. too as well. Because a lot so of the prescriptions are filled at a 90 day instead of a 30 day. Okay. So I, I would say though, what I'm, <clears throat> what I'm learning from this experience, which I've never seen you do this before, is that anybody who wants Tana to help them with their Medicare, you need to be a little prepared. You need to know the medications yes. you're on. You need to have a list. You need the correct doses, uh, you know, the milligrams, all that kind of information so that she can right. effectively build this out for you. Because I'm assuming that depending on what you're taking and how you're taking it, would then dictate the uh, the uh, the the carrier that you would use to get a drug plan. Correct. Or the pricing of it, the whole thing. Yes. So yeah. there's different monthly premiums. There's different drug formularies. There's different copays, and even when you go pick up your prescription at another pharmacy, you're going to get a different copay. So I can show you how to find the lowest copay in town. Okay. Um. Okay. So going back to the quantity, though, keep this in mind. If you're taking it twice a day. And you want to know what the price is for a three month supply, you got to change the quantity to equal that. Okay. So, just to give you a heads up on that. Okay. So, there is basic then, math. Correct. Okay. Although you can keep it simple and do this up here and you would just change All right. This so, we got some drugs. Months. Don't know what they are. They sound right. fun. Done adding Perfect. drugs. Okay. Now you are in well, the uh, section where you're adding wow. the so pharmacies. The college pharmacy is not top two. Oh, it, well, it's not top you, two, but think you'd it's be down sneakily, here on the list. I would think you would be, you know, you'd have a conflict of interest here. All right. And you'd be mandating everyone has to go to the college pharmacy. Right. So there's a standard in-network pharmacy, and there's also a preferred in-network pharmacy. So we're going to okay. find out which is which. So we're going to click on CVS. We're going to click on Vons. Maybe I'm going to the grocery store to buy some food. Never even then heard. it's easier. What's Fusion RX? Easy. Never even heard of that. Uh, they are. Yep. They're never, inventor. On, yeah. Huh. Some of A these Walmart, are not as common. Make sure you wear body armor if yeah. you go to the Walmart pharmacy. You can select up to uh, five, but let's just do these first three. So I'm done okay. there. Okay. So then moving along, now I'm going to see the top uh, 10. It's showing me the top 10 okay. of the best plans for me based on the medications that I am taking. And so I'm going to click on add to compare, add to compare, add to compare. And those are the top three from my list. And yes, I can go down and kind of look at these other plans. Oh man, but it's getting complicated. I know. Like shopping let's just for do a the car. Yeah. But, so let's but just way take more the top three. <laughs> let's just look at the top three. Okay. okay so this so... one's showing us silver scripts. So okay. it's seven dollars fifty cents per month. But is the There's... okay? So you've got a monthly premium, but then do you have like every time you get the medication, do you have to then pay some kind of copay? Correct. So okay, we're going to so go does it kind of, look at do you the have plan an idea? detail. Yeah. Wow. So you click on this button here called plan detail. This is kind of a pain in the caboose. I know. It's a lot of work, huh? So $7.50 per month is your monthly premium. There's okay. an annual deductible of $4.80, but that only applies to tier one through two, or excuse me, tier three through five, not okay. tier one and two. I said that backwards. Okay. And then it's showing me the list of the preferred pharmacies. So this is telling us these are going to be the lowest copays. Okay. And then we are going to see, see, they've changed this a lot. But underneath each one, so it's going through each month. Yeah. So it's just going to say, oh, so like it's only a dollar buck for whatever that was. Exactly. Exactly. But it's so going you, month by month. Bad. So oh, I see. So it's lengthy. but 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 to refill it, so it's like a buck a month. Yes, 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 yes. No big deal. So Correct. maybe if you got your three month supply, it'd be three bucks. Correct. Yes. Okay. So some of your copays, if like if it's like a preferred generic, very common, very inexpensive, it may not mm -hmm. have a copay at all. And then mm. some have like a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. 
Um, your tier three through five are going to be more all, expensive. But they're all kind of the same. So Correct. now it's on to you if you want to go to CVS, Vons, or Walmart in this example. Correct. Yes. These Gosh, are all I'm three. Born on that. What do you? Where do you go? You know. Von <laughs> I know it's just what is convenient for Jeez you. Like Louise. some people like to get their prescriptions when they're out shopping. Other people, you know, feel like is Vons go... would Vons technically be considered the the most priciest store out of the three? So then technically, no. as a byproduct of cost, it would be the most expensive there because you'd end up buying a bunch of stuff you didn't need <laughs> versus going That's to Walmart. That's true because you're you're going up and down the Stewie? aisles with a cart while you're waiting for it to you get know. Filled. Or which one has a drive-through <laughs> pharmacy, so you don't have to go in and buy Steve, anything you, you don't could... need. Yes, you could look oh for gosh. one that has a drive-through. Yep. That's the college pharmacy, everybody. They they have a drive-through. <laughs> you don't have to go into the gift shop and buy anything. Yeah, no, that's a good point. So, <laughs> but yeah, if you don't want to make any changes during this open enrollment period, you're happy with your plans, you're happy with your, pres blah, your prescription Whoa. drug plan Whoa. or your Medicare what? Advantage plan. <laughs> I think you need to take one I of know, your I'm meds. sorry. <laughs> so it renews your plans renew um automatically every year so no fret don't worry about it it just renews i get a lot of phone calls on that all right just so since we're focused the on the drug plan piece of the party at the moment what happens you turn 65 and you don't sign up for a prescription drug plan you get a penalty and it's permanent so well, does the penalty apply? where does the where does it apply does it apply to your copay or your monthly premium so that's a great question. It actually applies to the monthly premium. So I'm disappointed. If, I, I keep trying to find an answer. You don't know the or a question. You don't know the answer to it. Just like uh, <laughs> throw you under the bus here a little bit. And uh, so you, they'll you keep, add an additional penalty to this. Yes. And it's oh, permanent. I see. Yeah. Wow. So that's, on, but that's interesting to me because like, you, you know, like the 750, I think you, this was silver scripts, which was, I yes. think it said was an Aetna insurance company. Mm -hmm. And so you think that Aetna would be collecting all of that money. But if, if Medicare is assessing a penalty because you filed late, you think that Medicare would keep, I don't know, it's just in my mind. I don't understand. Well, no, that's a good point. So if you have this um, coming out of your Social Security benefit check every month, then they'll request it through that. Correct. Um, and then if you're just pay if you're not collecting Social Security yet, you're going to be setting up a monthly payment to Silver Script. So you're going to pay that penalty plus the monthly premium. And then they probably carve out that amount to send it to. But that's uh, a consideration with your Social Security is these things come out of your Social Security. Yes. And so if over time you your health changes and you need more medications, Correct. And all of a sudden you switch to a different um, drug plan. You know, you could see a little bigger hit on your social security check. Obviously, you got to pay that premium one way or another. But Correct. from a visual standpoint, just the awareness that this does have some kind of cash flow impact on social security is Absolutely. importante. Yes. No. Good point. Yeah. yeah so this particular plan could be a great option for you if you're like Tana. I don't take any medications right now. I'm healthy. Um, I, I don't really want to spend extra money on a, right. on a, another Medicare plan. So this would be a good one because it's $7 and okay. 50. Okay. So all minimal. I heard was everybody, you need to sign up for the silver script smart. <laughs> no, RX, PDP. that's not what I'm saying. I'm stopping the video here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, is there everybody are just wants an answer, Tana. We just want to know what to do. <laughs> we don't need all the backstory. Well, met well care is only ten dollars a month so you what? it's say, more expensive I'm, I'm yeah but not I'm, by a whole lot so there's very I'm, inexpensive prescription drug plans if you don't take any medications but you don't want to be assessed a permanent penalty I down see. the road I yeah see. so you get something so yeah. all right well I guess the takeaway so far though is Medicare open enrollment starting there's different Correct. batches of people that can be eligible for that obviously yes. if you're turning 65 whether it's open enrollment or not or, or anything you need Correct. to be doing something. Now, I think what you said was, what happens if you're working still and you turn 65? Then you do not need to enroll in Medicare. You can delay your Medicare enrollment without penalty. You just have to prove no that you have an employer group plan or a union plan. Is that a hassle to do? No, it's very simple. So okay. there's a form online that I can email to you and you would give it to your HR department and they would fill it out. They're very familiar with the form and it just shows uh, that you've had proof of uh, either employer or union coverage. Mitch McConnell was just sitting on your shoulder, kind of like, like one of those <laughs> little age old devil things. Oh, that is so awesome. It's kind of weird. <laughs> the, uh, oh, another same. good point. 
<laughs> is if you have um, VA benefits, then that is considered um, credible prescription drug coverage. So oh, you do not okay. need good. a prescription drug plan. You can if go through you the have... VA. Yes. Very cool. Yep. Okay. I so that's a good. That's a good tidbit. That as well. That's a good tidbit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So takeaway though, everybody is Medicare is coming up. Do yes. not fret. Do not waste time. Reach out to our office. Yes. Call Tana. Where are we at here? 805-500-7035. That's 805-500-7035. If you go to our website, I'm trying to like be like a used car guy. If you go to our website, thelindgroup.com, Lind is L-Y-N-D, you can read our profile page about us. Learn how many children we have. All right. Um, certainly request a, a time to talk to Tana. Mm -hmm. And if you do it really, 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 really fast, she might still be in town. So <laughs> yeah, I'm here always, for the rest of the week. You could always jump on that grenade. So anyways, uh, Tana, thank you for giving us a little brief yeah. synopsis. It's amazing how quickly time goes. And all we did is scratch the surface of drug plans. <laughs> That's true. So that maybe over the next you know, month or so with uh, Medicare open enrollment going, yeah. we'll touch on some of these themes Definitely. again. We'll share some more maybe about the uh, other stuff I'll say because I don't know what it's called. And uh, <laughs> I bid you adieu.